At my school, it was all boys. I played almost exclusively lady parts. When I say lady parts, I mean parts that were feminine. <laughs> to play lady parts would be weird even by English standards. I was a Von Trapp daughter in The Sound of Music at the age of 12, and I was gorgeous, to be honest with you. And I remember my line was I had to, when I was being introduced to, I'm Brigitte, I'm 12, and all I want is a good time. Well, I got a laugh, I remember that. A problem I've had since started at that moment, which is if I get a laugh in the theater, I'm so delighted I laugh too. That's considered amateurish. When I was at Oxford, uh, there was a man called Michael Hoffman who was making a, a student film, and he said, Hugh, well, I need you to act in it. And I said, no, thanks very much, because I wasn't really very interested at that point. And then he said, oh, well, you get to kiss Victoria Studd, who was this hot girl at, at Oxford. So I said, OK. That may have been my first male part, and that's the one that really set me off on the road to ruin. And then, just when I was getting bored of the whole thing, uh, I was sent a script by my agent, and I immediately rang them up and I said, I think there's a mistake here because you sent me a good script. Uh, and it was four weddings and a funeral. And I said, I, you know, they won't want me for this. And uh, actually, as it happened, they didn't. Uh, I went and auditioned. Richard Curtis, who wrote it, I've never seen a man look more miserable in an audition in my life. He looked like he was going to kill himself. He was persuaded to by the others, by the director and so on, to let me do it. And, it, that, and that, yes, that changed everything. I've danced thrice on film. Uh, once in Love Actually, which I hated doing. Once in Music and Lyrics, which I did on drugs, actually, because I was so self-conscious. I made my very nice makeup girl bring me lorazepam and whiskey disguised in a 7-Up bottle. And I'd swig that between takes. And then, yes, in Florence Foster Jenkins, I do, I, I dance uh, Lindy Hop. They had to train me like a performing seal. But for me to learn to be fantastic at Lindy Hop took four hard months with ladies in leotards in a sweaty dance shop in London. Well, the joke of my hair uh, in, the, in the wake of Four Weddings was, of course, that um, one of the reasons Richard Curtis didn't want me in the film is because he felt the character should not be attractive to women. And when he was persuaded to cast me after all, they went to great lengths to try and make me look uh, bad. And so that's why I have bad costumes in that film, deliberately bad. And uh, they tried to give me the worst haircut they could. Well, so yeah. there was an irony that then that haircut became popular. Well, the conventional answer here is to say, you know, sex scenes when you do them are not sexy because there's so many people around and it's so unnatural. But I have always found them quite a turn on, to be honest with you. <laughs> I quite like that experience of being in a sexual position when you're not supposed to be, it's sort of forbidden. I had always droned on about the fact that I felt that the country of Britain was run by uh, a few media barons, in particular Rupert Murdoch, rather than by the people we elected. And people always thought I'd just gone a bit nuts. A weird, out-of-the-blue opportunity when uh, my car broke down in a remote part of the countryside in England. I was late for a golf appointment, didn't know what to do, and suddenly a, a car, a van pulled up on the other side of the road, and I thought, that's nice, a local person's come to help me. Guy gets out with a great long lens. Turned out he was the ex-news editor of the News of the World. He started taking pictures of me, and I was swearing at him. And I said, I, I was trying to get a taxi, and I couldn't find one on the phone, and blah, blah, blah. And in the end, he said, do you want a ride? And I said, not with you, asshole." And then I realized I can't get there any other way. So I get in a van with this, with this guy. He takes me to the golf thing and on the way rejoices in boasting about how he used to hack all these phones. And I thought, Christ, I wish I had a, something to record this with because it's dynamite. A few months later, I went to his pub again and I got him talking again and I got it all recorded and I, I wrote it up as an article in the New Statesman magazine in Britain. I meant to do it just as a, a brief flurry of activity uh, helping to get this public inquiry going. A few, a few weeks to, has now turned into five years, yeah. and we're still at it.